Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. Today we are going to discuss the topic of STDs and when you should disclose this to your partner. So you stay tuned. All right, so welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. If this is your very first time to I Love Me 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 and you want to hear more videos like this, you make sure that you hit that red subscribe button down below. Now, today I'm going to give you four tips on when you should disclose your STD to your potential future partner. One of the very first tips that I'm going to give you is to make sure that you have this talk before you have sex. Now, I understand sometimes you are in the heat of the moment, in the throes of passion, and you have gone past this point. You need to disclose this information as soon as possible because you don't want the person to feel like you made the decision for them. Even if you, like I said, even if you did have sex, I'm talking about one time. I'm not talking about two, three, four, five, six, ten times. And now all of a sudden you want to disclose this information. Now, let me just back up and say, you still should disclose this information because you don't want this person to feel like everything that you have built has been built on a lie. Because that's exactly how it's going to look. You need to disclose this information to them so they have the choice to stay or to go. But know that if they go, they weren't meant for you. Yes, it's going to hurt. It's going to be painful. But you need to get this off of your chest and be as open as possible. As I mentioned um, as I mentioned before, the best time is to tell them prior to sex ever happening. The next tip is to make sure that you have already disclose some sensitive information and the reason why you want to have disclosed some sensitive information before this std talk is because you want to see how the person is going to act if they act poorly toward that other sensitive information they probably gonna act just as poorly they're probably gonna make you feel very unloved very unworthy and all of us are worthy worthy to be loved all of us it doesn't matter what's going on with us we all deserve respect we all deserve love so you want to have some type of sensitive conversation with them to see how they're going to act the third tip is that you want to have built some type of comfortable level with this person or comfort level i should say some type of comfort level with this person which brings me to the final tip is that you want to make sure that you are spending as much time and not excessive every day, all day. You don't want to do that, but you definitely want to spend time with the person so you can see exactly who they are and you want some time to have passed so you're feeling comfortable enough to actually have this conversation. And I know a lot of people will say, I'm going to do this on the first date. They're either going to love me, all of me, in the door, or not at all. And that's just not true because if you punching me in the face with all of this information, when it's bad information, it doesn't matter what good information that you try to give me. Only thing I'm going to remember is the bad. And I cannot remember where I heard this or even read this from. If you start off being negative, and then follow it up with positive. People won't remember the positive. They'll only remember the negative. But if you start off with the positive and then get to the negative, it's a it's a less blow. And they could take it a lot better. And honestly, they, they don't remember as much as as much of the negativity as what you said about them. So try to remember that you are putting your best foot forward for them to see the best in you first. For them to start to see the you that you want them to see. And this is, has nothing to do with your representative. You're still portraying you. You just know that the negative part of you or the flawed part of you, however you want to look at it, is going to come out at some point. But you want their heart to be able to be softened towards you. Because all of us are flawed and unfortunately we all have this idea in our head that there is some perfect person out there for us. And unfortunately they're just, there is not a perfect person. There is a person and you are a person. Y'all can be perfect together, but you and them are not perfect people, right? Y'all could just mesh well together. So just think about it. 
absolutely, absolutely, I'm going to tell you the very last tip. I want you to make sure that you say a prayer. Even if you're not a religious person, say a prayer before you have this particular talk because prayer does change things, whether you believe in God or not. Prayer changes things. And God or a higher power, whatever word you want to use, can soften that person's heart, especially if they are for you. They might think in their mind that that is a super, super deal breaker for them. But after your prayer, God has touched them. All of a sudden, their heart is softened. And it's not a deal breaker anymore. So just think about it. Think about it. But at the end of the day, disclose this information.